Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you doing today? Excellent. Welcome, welcome to the class. Welcome. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for your punctuality. Thank you very much for being here. I know it's an effort that we're making uh, to be here on time in the class because I know we have different things to do every day. So anyways, as I was saying before, um, remember that we are going to finish on August 23rd. I think it's, I believe it's August 23rd, yeah. Wait a minute, I have some messages. Okay, Ramiro, I understand. I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Thank you very much. Okay, anyways, as I was saying before, uh, we're gonna be finishing and today we're gonna be uh, doing the midterm exam, okay? So if I don't remember, please remind me that we have to do the midterm exam today. I'm gonna write it here. Maybe I can see this later. Midterm exam. Because I need to update your grades to the system. Necesito actualizarles eh, sus notas, ¿verdad? So in a few minutes, probably we're gonna be reviewing the midterm exam. Uh, maybe some classmates are going to connect later. I don't know. Is it raining? Is it raining? No? Yes, Miss. Oh, yes, Jose. Where? Aquí empieza, pero hay más disculpar si se me desconecta. Ok, ok. Ok, so I was, sí. estaba preguntando porque veo muy pocos conectados y tal vez a veces es por lo de la lluvia. I don't know, maybe maybe that's the reason. I don't know what is the reason today. But I hope that everyone connects because, you know, uh, it is very important to have the minutes attending. No raining now, no. No raining? No, no raining now. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Because, you yeah. know, the attendance is very important, not only with the saying I'm present or I'm here, but it's very important also to be the 120 minutes, the two hours, Connected to the class. Y eso vale, equivale. Imagínense que no se conecta 10 minutos eh, en 12 clases. Ya son 120 minutos. Es como que no se haya conectado a una clase completa. ¿Me entiende? So, if you don't connect on time y se conecta 10 minutos tarde todos los días, le va a ir contando, right? At the end. So, for, for example, um, if one day, si un día no me conecto, eh, si, perdón, si 24 días, porque las clases son 25 días, si 24 clases me conecto 10 minutos tarde, ¿cuántos minutos se me descuentan? 240. Entonces, ¿cómo que yo hubiera faltado a clases? Dos días. Y usted dice, no, pero yo estuve presente en todas las clases. Not really, ¿verdad? En realidad no, porque no estaba esos 240 minutes. Ok, anyways, let's continue. And I'm going to start with the attendance because it's time to start with the attendance. My God, it's not raining here. It's hot. It's really hot. I don't know if it is hot where you, where you are or where you live, but here it's very hot. I love it. I can hear you, Miss. ¿Me pueden escuchar? El cuadernito anda. Yes, Miss. Yes, Miss. Okay. Oscar tiene activo el micrófono. Okay. Now, let's go with the attendance. I'm going to start right now. Oh, my God. Qué calor. It's really hot. Let me see. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Let's go. Okay. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Ángela Guadalupe Hernandez Sánchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Deme un minuto. Okay, let's continue. Blanca no está. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. 
Gerson, no, Gerson. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Okay. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present Miss. Mayra Patricia <coughs> Artiga Vázquez. <coughs> no, Mónica Wendy Ábalos Vázquez. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Sí, pero no dije nada malo, ¿verdad? Cuando se activó. Un cuadernito no. estaba diciendo. Sí, es que se me había perdido mi cuaderno. Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Ok. O sea, Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. I'm here. Excelente. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Set Calicia López. Present Miss. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present Miss. Bueno, y aquí está Verónica. Voy a preguntar porque no me aparece en asistencia todavía, pero voy a preguntar, ¿ok? Ahí va. No le escucho. Creo no, que... no aparezco en la lista todavía, Miss. ¿Cómo? No aparezco en la lista todavía. Todavía no me aparece. Todavía no me aparece. Ok, se pregunte, pero igual aquí voy a estar yo en oyente para grabar la clase también y estar pendiente. Mañana que ya esté en El Salvador, entonces me, me dice a ver qué le dijeron. Ok, perfecto. Bien, buen viaje. Okay, muchas gracias. Ok. Ok. Estoy en reunión de trabajo, que no lo crea, trabajando estoy. Yes, yes, I believe you, I believe you, don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Que no es Bye. lo mismo para reunión allá que aquí. Sí, ahí está. <ríe> ok, excelente. Estoy en la reunión allá que aquí. Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Okay, excellent. Okay. Jocelyn, welcome. I'm happy to see you. I'm always happy when I see you. <ríe> yo sé que Jocelyn siempre está trabajando, pero cuando le queda tiempo, ya, yeah, se sienta y está en la clase el full. Right, Jocelyn? Yes, excellent. Good, good. Okay, so let's go, you guys. We're going to continue with the reading. Yesterday, we were practicing our reading. So, Did you practice the reading aparte de eso? Ustedes por su cuenta? Did you practice reading? No? No, right? You didn't. I practice in, in, in driver, driving in, in traffic. You I'm, were reading in traffic? No, no. I am um, uh, in Funcion Interprete. Okay. Uh, Google. Oh, okay. Uh, and Google, uh, I speak Spanish and, and traduction in English. Translate in English. Uh, oh, I speak English and translate Spanish and application to Google. Google, okay. Google Translate. That's good. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Okay. But now what I need you to do is because I need you to understand what you're reading. Well, not also understand what you are reading, but let me see what do I have here. Okay, I need you to, okay, this is it. I need you to read fluently, okay? In el intermedio, uno de los goals that we have is fluency when speaking, okay? So you have to be more fluent uh, when you have to speak or when you have to read something. Because at the beginning, you are reading like you are in, in elementary school, como que estuviéramos en la primaria, right? And you read like, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. So that's not reading fluently, right? That will be reading word by word. That's what I do when I want you to 
to hear the pronunciation of the words individually. But what I want you to do now is do this. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. You see, that's what I want to do, okay? So that is intonation, basically that is what it is. It is intonation at the time when speaking. And the audios that I send you to the WhatsApp group, the audios were based on that. They were best based on the intonation, okay? So now, I want you to practice this just one more time. We're gonna practice just one more time, okay? Like I'm gonna give you like five minutes just to review because probably no lo practicaron y ya no lo tienen fresco, verdad? You can go listen the audio, uh, practice with your classmates, practice fluency, and then when we come back, okay, we are going to read. Voy a elegir personas para que lean específicamente y voy a evaluar fluency, también pronunciation, also pronunciation as always, but fluency, okay? You got it? ¿Se entendió? Got it? Yeah? Okay. Remember, we are not practicing palabras separadas. We are practicing fluency. That's what we're practicing. Okay? Let's go. Let's see. Saben que tengo que armar. Oh, eh, ¿se acuerdan de él? Es la captura que tuvieron ayer, ok? La captura de pantalla de ayer, porque eh, la de. Eh, se la acabo de mandarme y la mandé al grupo. Sí, la, le modifiqué unas cosas ayer. Yes. Sí, ahí está. Ok, yes. thank you, thank Bye. you. Thank you. Y están los orios también. La galleta Oreo no la hay. Ah. <ríe> orios, no Oreo. Ahí está. Bien, bien.
नेक्स्ट Yo, 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 una grande ranchera ahí, mi amor. No, no, lo que pasa es que han puesto una iglesia aquí a la par y no sé, quizás tienen vigilia o algo así.
<laughs> yo hablando con el micrófono apagado. <laughs> okay, so, welcome back. So, when I went to the break room, parecía que sí estábamos. If we were practicing, but we were not practicing. Mm, yeah, well, we're going to see now. I just want to tell you something. Remember that reading in English or speaking in English, to prove that you can speak English, you don't have to speak fast, okay? That's what many people do, and that's a mistake because speaking English correctly is not speaking fast, okay? It's speaking correctly. Like in Spanish, when you are speaking really fast, you make mistakes, okay? So when reading, try to read not slow like word by word, but try to read slowly, que se entienda, right? Because it's not a tongue twister. No es un trabalenguas. It's not a tongue twister. So you can go word by word with fluency. Let me show you. Voy a mostrar cómo pueden ir palabra por palabra con fluidez. Okay. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. You see? Lo hice con fluidez. It was slow, but it was with fluency, fluency. Si usted ya es más experto, if you're like, you have intermediate or advanced levels, you can, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. You see, that was a little bit more, like it was faster, right? Now, but if you cannot do that, you can go stopping like every two or three words. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. Y este es un tip que le voy a dar así como en general. Se lo puedo decir en español solo porque quiero que se les quede grabado. En español, cuando nosotros leemos, no leemos de corrido, ¿verdad? Porque leer de corrido tampoco tiene sentido. Respetamos signos de puntuación. Entonces, acá no es que vayamos a respetar signos de puntuación, pero una clave es parar cada tres palabras y respirar. Porque no es que vayan a ir corriendo. Es cada tres palabras o cada dos palabras usted puede parar y respirar. Miren el ejemplo. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. ¿Vieron? Aquí va haciendo una pausa pequeñita. Did you listen? Yeah. ¿Se escuchó? No. Yeah. Ok. So, en lugar de ir, porque no es que van a ir, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. Eso tampoco es intonation. Play rápido, but it's not intonation. Ok. So, cada tres o dos, you can do it. Listen. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. You see? Yes? Vamos con pausas. Y que tenga sentido lo que va a terminar de decir, ¿verdad? Okay. Bueno, I'm going to choose some participants now. Let me see. A mí me encantan las cámaras apagadas. Okay, let's see. Rafael Martinez, help me with this. What? From here to here. Okay. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that are grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Rafael. Johnny, can you help me with number one, please? Introductions. Johnny, not here. Okay. Let's see. Eric Reyes, number one, please. Okay, introductions. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members. 
to get to know each other better, e.g. their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Excellent. Thank you very much. Aquí era why, ¿verdad? Habíamos dicho que why. Y eso significa for example, okay? Thank okay. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't worry. Eric Jose Reyes, number two, please. Hasta el momento vamos bien. Yeah, I, I feel. Okay. Uh, number two. Phone starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the drop uh, creativity flowing or some for example ask them to think of three words to describe describe uh, their favorite hobby okay repeat let me see groups groups creativity creativity and describe. Describe. Yes, excellent. Describe. Thank you. Let's okay. go with Thanks. Jennifer Amaya. Please help me with number three. Okay. Format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide the structure and direction and open ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. Excellent, thank you very much. Uh, Maria Julia, can you help me with number four, please? And writing a sketch. Um, select an appropriate writing sketch to measure different level of approval. Excellent, just read, read measure. 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 Thank you very much. Let's go now with Ana Veronica Sabray. <laughs> okay. Can you help me with number five, please? Specificity. Avoid the opening ended question that simply asks why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, as respondents, to provide some specific sample of that they liked or did not like about the item in question. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Let's go with Dennis Enrique. Yes. Close one. Thank the participants for their help and ask if there anything could by them to include their experience experience as a member of the focus group okay excellent thank you very much appreciate it okay now here is something that i can um, tell you to help you when you are reading in English, you're trying to remember how to say the words. That's why you sound robotic, because you're thinking about the next word, if you're gonna say it correct or not. You're thinking about pronunciations, okay? So instead of that, try to first understand what you are reading. Ya todos saben qué es lo que están leyendo. Like the meaning. You have an idea? Yes, I like you have an idea. Because when you have an idea, you don't sound robotic. You sound more natural, for example. Let me show you. Let's do the number five, okay? In this case, estoy hablando de que hay que evitar las preguntas que son eh, vagas, ¿verdad? Y que después de preguntar algo le pregunto, ¿le gustó? ¿Y por qué? ¿Verdad? Porque la pregunta por qué tiene un significado negativo. Dice, hace que el que respondió piense que su respuesta no fue buena. Por eso me está preguntando por qué. En lugar de eso, pregúntale al que responde o pídele que brinde algunos ejemplos para especificar qué le gusta o qué no le gusta 
exactamente el, eh, el objeto de lo que se está preguntando, de, la, de lo que está en cuestión, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo entendiendo esto, if I understand this, I can start reading it as I mean it. Como que de verdad estoy, quiero decir esto, right? So, let's see. Si lo digo sin entender, se va a escuchar algo así. Specificity. Avoid vague open questions about that simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they like or did not like about the item in question. Lo leí bien. My pronunciation, I think it was good. But no se veía como que I mean it, right? No se veía como que de verdad lo quería decir. Y es que no es como que estamos en una clase de actuación. <laughs> Para nada. It's not that. It's that we have to have intonation. Ahora, como que de verdad estoy leyendo lo que quiero decir. Specificity. Avoid back open-ended questions that simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think the first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they like or did not like about the item in question. See, can you hear the difference? Yeah, okay. So in this case, it's a specific um, um, emphasis in some words that means that I'm meaning what I'm saying, okay? That is, and this is just a tip for reading in, in English, porque creo que el reading es la habilidad que se desarrolla menos y la que se desarrolla de último y la que menos le importa a la gente desarrollar. Okay, so that's what I'm telling you this. Reading is important and try to understand what you're reading, understand the pronunciation, and then read it as you mean it. Leanlo como que de verdad quieren decir lo que está ahí, ¿verdad? Okay, let's go with the next activity right now that we have here. This, it says, group work, that's what we're meant to do. It says, design a 10 to 12 question questionnaire to find out the participants, how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you suggested in unit one. ¿Se acuerdan que hicimos un producto en unit one que iban a vender? Algunos hicieron un servicio de clases de inglés, English classes, o otros hicieron otros. ¿Se acuerdan de esos productos? Do you remember those products? Yeah. Okay. So if you remember, that's what we're going to do now. We are going to design a survey. Okay. These are the questions that we're going to ask to a focus group. Serían las preguntas que le haríamos a un focus group. Okay. Now, yesterday you did some questions. ¿Se acuerdan que hicimos five questions? Yeah. Pero no teníamos esta información, right? Porque ustedes hicieron, cometieron ese error de preguntar. Did you like, um, or uh, would you prefer meat or vegetables? Yes, why? Y hicieron why. Aquí les dice que no hagan esto de why. So following these advices, okay? Following these um, six advices, we're going to make a questionnaire for a survey. Now, so we're going to design a survey for a specific product. It can be any product that you design in the unit number one. And it has to have from 10 to 12 questions, okay? Now, these questions are for a focus group. You can do uh, what is it? a draft. Pueden hacer un borrador, a draft about the, the questions y luego editarlas cuando yo llegue a revisar. Remember to start with questions to make the participants interact with each other and reduce their anxiety. Sigan el consejo que está aquí. Primero hagan pa preguntas para interactuar con el participante. Like, um, ¿qué le gusta? ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? What's your favorite food? What, um, what do you like to eat for dessert? Preguntas que hablen de ellos, ¿ok? For the first questions, para reducir ansiedad y que se conozcan. Then, ask questions, ¿ok? About the specific characteristics of the product. Luego ya vamos a ir a las preguntas del producto. This is our, these are some sample questions. This is what they want you to do. Esto es un ejemplo de lo que van a hacer. Use a rating scale to measure the participant's satisfaction. Y vamos a usar una escala para hacer el, uh, ¿cómo se dice? La escala de satisfacción. Overall, how satisfied are you with the product? Esto es, 
overall, eso lo pueden usar en sus preguntas, es en general, ¿cómo se siente? ¿Qué tan satisfecho está con el producto? ¿Ok? Overall, eso es como en general. What is your impression of the product? That's another question, right? En lugar de decir, did you like the product? Porque esa es una pregunta que va a ser contestada con un yes, right? Did you like the product? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Entonces, ¿cuál es tu impresión del producto? Oh, that's an open question, you see? Open question. How likely, esta es una, esta es una frase buenísima. ¿Qué tan probable es? ¿Ok? Eso significa esta frase. How likely, ¿qué tan probable es? How likely are you to purchase this product? ¿Qué tan probable es que usted compre este producto? Right? Include open-ended questions as well. Preguntas que sean para que ellos se extiendan. What specific features of the product impressed you? What is features? What is the meaning of features? Like uh, perks. Perks. Or characteristics. Oh, characteristics. Excellent. Good job. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. What specific features or characteristics of the product impress you, right? What features of the product disappointed you, okay? So what, instead of saying, ¿qué le gustó y qué no le gustó? ¿Qué le impresionó? ¿Qué no le, o qué le decepcionó del producto? Okay. These are example questions. You can take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group if you like. Remember, we're going to make a questionnaire from 10 to 12 questions. And the questions that we're going to ask have to be following these advices. Ya no como las preguntas que hicieron ayer. Not like the ones you did yesterday, because yesterday you didn't know how to make questions for a focus group. Now you know. Con eso. Y si no le han entendido esto, if you haven't understand, pues tradúzcalo porque esto es toda la clave para las preguntas que va a hacer. So 10 to 12 questions, you're going to choose a product from unit one. Eh, ask questions about the, the product. Also ask questions about people. So uh, what is your favorite food or things like that. Like icebreaker questions. Preguntas rompehielo. Icebreaker questions, okay? And then these are some sample questions that you can use, okay? Is the activity clear for you? Después llego al grupo y están preguntando. ¿quién? Is the activity clear for you? Yes, please. I have a question. Okay, Eric. Um, we can uh, choose whatever uh, product. It can be any product. Puede ser cualquier producto, pero de... I will rather I will rather choose one that you did at the beginning of the unit number one. De los que hicieron en el inicio de la unidad uno, elegiría yo. Se acuerdan, verdad? Because I don't remember. Oh. No. Okay. My If case, you don't I, remember. I don't remember. If you don't remember, pregúntele a sus compañeros si se acuerdan el de ellos. Y si no, you can choose any product, ¿ok? Puede elegir un producto okay. que sea fácil de testear. Ya, yeah. ¿ok? Got it? Let's go. Ya you have the invites. Let's join the break rooms.
Remember que el primero sean preguntas que sean icebreakers, como que el, eh, hagan interacción con el, el, el como ay, con el. ¿Cómo están? Las primeras tres. Uh, prim, la pre, segunda sí. La segunda sí. What do you think about the pros? No. 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 Esa de último ¿Para? podría ser. Ay, sorry. Esa podría ser de último. Pero es, primero es como qué tipo de comida te gusta. O sea, preguntas que hagan que la persona interactúe, que se sienta cómoda, ¿ok? Es Thanks. que nosotros como estábamos viendo lo de los zapatos, era el que, el que hicimos en el Unity One. O puede también preguntar cuántas horas trabajas al día. ¿Te gusta tu trabajo? Mm. Porque cuántas horas trabajas al día, ¿qué tiene que ver con mi producto? Ah, cuántas horas paso de pie al día. ¿Cuántas horas este, tan cómodos necesito que sean mis zapatos? Right? Eh, si, soy de secret si soy una secretaria, voy a necesitar unos zapatos altos, tal vez, y no voy a necesitar tanto estar de pie. O si tal vez estoy trabajando de, de qué, abriendo la puerta en un centro comercial o de vigilante, necesito zapatos que sean súper cómodos, ¿verdad? Yeah. Esas cosas, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. En la, ya después podríamos ya iniciar con preguntas específicas del, del producto. No sé si esa pregunta es suficiente, digamos, como para, para Allí empezar. Podríamos... Miren, se parece mucho al ejemplo que vi en otro grupo. Y le voy a comentar lo que les comentaba el otro grupo. Cuando ustedes este, también pueden hacer la pregunta, de, eh, ¿cuál es su tipo de trabajo? ¿Cuál es tu, o de qué trabaja? Right? Y la persona va a hablar de su trabajo. ¿Por qué me importa esto? Because, este, si trabaja de vigilante, necesita un zapato incómodo, uno cómodo, pues uno cómodo, ¿verdad? Tantas mujeres vigilantes que hay, ¿ustedes creen que vigilan en tacones, abriendo las puertas de los centros comerciales? Think they do. O trabaja de secretaria, ¿ok? O trabaja de enfermera visitando casa por casa, o es una enfermera de hospital, o qué, o sea, das, puede ser una pregunta de interacción, ¿ok? Ok. Okay. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces tendríamos ¿Cómo? que poner ahí de qué trabaja. Ajá. ¿Qué es tu trabajo? 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 Hello, Rafael. Welcome to the class. Hello, Miss. Okay, so welcome. Your classmates are working on a questionnaire. Están con un questionario sobre un producto, okay? So I'm going to send you to a breakout room so you can help them. Para que les ayude, okay? Okay, thank you. Let's go.
Listo. Vale, si quieres pronunciemos a ver si nos salen. Vamos a quitar esta otra de aquí. Pronunciation. Estamos everybody participating. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, pero que sea poco. <risa> Ajá, cabal. Si no, nos va a mandar a la penitenciaría. Or with spice even. Yeah. Nos va a poner penitencia de dicho. Yeah. Entonces, Vaya. revisemos ahí una palabrita que no me más o menos. Ahorita llevamos una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Digamos que seis, nos faltan cuatro todavía. Mm. Solo que ahí pues, tenemos que irlas ordenándolas para que todas...
Ok, listen. Yo sé que algunos ya terminaron las preguntas. You finished the questions. Pero muchos no han terminado todavía. Ok, there are a lot of students that haven't finished yet. So what I will advise you to do, lo que les recomiendo hacer, es haga más preguntas o practiquen las que ya tienen. Porque estoy esperando un grupo. Ok, please.
Hello everyone, one more minute and we're coming back. Un minuto y regresamos. One more minute and we're coming back. <coughs> One more minute and we are coming back. Hello. Okay, let's see the questions. We're going to start with the group Hello. two, that is Johnny, Jocelyn, Julio, Rafael, Sandra, and Anna, Veronica. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Um, good evening, sleepers. Okay. Sleeper uh, four by four. Um, thinking about the comfort and elegance uh, that women need and should have been created that treat the occasion. You can transform your elegance into comfort with high shoes, transforming uh, them into slippers. A slipper four by four. Good afternoon. Welcome to our focus group. What is your job? What type of slipper do you use? How do you feel with your slippers? Would you like a shoes that fits your style? Would you like some shoes that when you leave work, you turn them into a short shoes without the hassle of taking them off? What is your impression of the slip? Four by four, what do you like of uh, sleep four by four? It's just a change for the sleeper. What price would you be willing to pay for the sleeper? 
What offer would you like our store to have for a sleeper? Uh, for by far, and um, how like, likely would it be that you will use the over comparing products currently available from other brands? I invite you to get to know these new shoes that help in your daily life, which can, can make you feel much better wherever you are. For by four sleepers. Wow, amazing, excellent, good job. Let's give them an applause. Wow, that was good. Hey, when Johnny started speaking, I was like, "Yes, a radio." Where, right? Like he started speaking like he was in the right radio radio yes. station. It was yes. like, "Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the radio station." <laughs> Something like that. Y de ver a Johnny, de ver a Johnny, yo escuchaba como que eran de hacer CD que ven. Right, right. Así se escuchaba. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Pirata. ¿Dónde conseguiste ese, ese, ese autotumo? Yo no vengo con esa actualización, dígale usted. ¿De qué año es esa versión? Ok, excelente. Muy good job. I like it. And I like the product. I like the product. Me gustó el producto. Yo, yo. I like the moving moon. I like the product because here. Yo no uso high heels. Solo que venga eh, una personalidad así como que mega importante y que tengo que, ¿qué? Right? Usaría uh -huh. yo unos high heels. But I don't wear high heels. No me gustan los high heels. Pero esa idea de convertirlos en slippers. <gasps> como dice el meme en inglés. Es una bomba. Can take my money. <laughs> ¿Dónde los compro? Where can I buy them? Como los, como los... Yeah, 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 yeah. Como the shark tank. Okay, excellent. Good job. I liked it. Okay, let's go with group number one. Blanca, Eric, Javier, Jennifer, Jose, Oscar, and Jose. Okay, good evening, partner. Uh, do you have uh, for every occasion? Pardon. Do you have shoes for every occasion? How do you like to wear your shoes? How did you find out about our brand? Have you ever tried how or or shoes? What your impression? of her product, I likely are you to purchase this product? What specific features of the product impressed you? What future, what future of the product is pointed at you? What style of shoes do you like the most? What do you think about our products? Okay, okay, I like it. Thank you very much. So the shoes, so you're just selling shoes, right? So it was like the slipper one. Yeah, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job. Let's give them an applause. Gracias, compañero. Es que estaba viendo, mis que en, cuando tuvimos el primer, cuando hicimos el primer trabajo de la unidad One, a, otra compañera también estaba en ese mismo grupo, por eso hicieron shoes también allá, obviamente, no estábamos en el mismo hoy, ¿verdad? No, por eso vio que sí. Ajá, yeah. pero sí, ese era parte de un producto de, de la vez pasada. Yes, yes, I remember. Excellent. Good yes. job. Good job. Excellent. So let's go and continue with the group, obviously. Finally, number three, Dennis, Eric, Maria Julia, Monica, Omar, Rafael, Ramir, and Ramir. Okay, good evening, class. Uh, <laughs> our product is Chongenga. Um, before we start, I will explain about the product. Um, it has a 
six type of snack. Eh, starting with. Is, the... eh, perdón, vuelvo a la primera presentación. Go back to the first slide. Okay, okay. Thank you. Eh, es, I will start with the. Porque aquí están los aquí están los tipos, ¿verdad? Okay, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Starting with the color red and green. Those are a little spicy. Um, the color orange is sweet. Um, the color black, the snack black is uh, taste a little onion. Um, the last is a chichar chichara and and spicy always um that's it uh, we continue with my my team okay how often do you buy candies Okay. Next. The second. The second. Yeah. Okay. From number one to number ten, how much you like a hot and spicy food? Okay. What's the green? What ingredient would you like to enjoy this snack with? Next. Do you know about the changenga? How do you try to changenga? Next. What kind of candy do you buy? Sweet, salty, or white spice? Do you believe, you that, believe product... that product is not... Excuse me, excuse me. Ah. <laughs> Stay on the way. Do you do you believe that product is nutritional? If you have tried the chungenga, what is your opinion? Next. Okay. Do you consider that fifty cents is a accessible price for your pocket? What? what did you like the most about this product? Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pero solo quiero um corregir unas cositas. Let me see. Accessible, yo lo cambiaría la palabra accessible por affordable. Okay, affordable. Pero ahorita no lo cambien, solo son observaciones. If you have tried the chungenga, what is your opinion? Okay. Do you believe that or product is nutritional? Aquí falta la palabra or, como no es producto. Or that the product is nutritional. What kind of candy do you buy? Sweet, salty, or spicy? Okay. No tienen que poner el wheat spicy. El wheat está de más. Vámonos para atrás. Okay. Let's go. How often do you buy candy from one to 10? How much do you like? How much rate from one to 10? How much do you like hot and spicy food? Solo el eat está de más. Ese eat está de más. What ingredients would you like to enjoy this snack with? Yeah, it's fine. Do you know about the chongenga? Have you ever tried? Yeah, solo eso sería. Pero lo demás muy bien, okay? Thank Excellent, you. good job, good job. Hey, you guys, you have improved. Han mejorado en su eh, estructuración. Yeah, I have seen that. ¿Se acuerdan cuántas X les ponía al inicio? How many X I was like 
writing at the beginning and you were like, ah, yeah, a lot of mistakes. No, you have improved. You have improved. You have done well now, so far. So far, so good. Hasta el momento, se me duerma. It's not time yet. Todavía no es hora. Yo también, but it's not time. No, not, not yet. Okay, let's continue. We're going to continue here. Um, But before we continue, eh, I would like to go with the with the midterm, okay? Para que resolvamos el examen. Let's go with the midterm. Okay, aquí estamos en la part one. He wanted to study in a university, in a university. Uh, he went to Jeddah University last month. So, as a result, although or in addition, este topic ya lo vimos. Hey, what is the answer, do you think? As a result. Excellent. As a result. Ali was driving very fast yesterday. The police gave him a ticket. On the other hand, for this reason, in addition. For this reason. Excellent. For this reason. Number three. Qatar is a small country. It is very rich. Although. Although. Excellent. Hello. The politician is too old to be our president. He is not trustworthy. Moreover. Moreover. I like math and I like science also or as well? As well. As well. Let's see if your answers are correct. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So number one is as a result. Number two is for this reason. Excellent. Number three Excellent. is although. Number four is moreover. And number five is as well. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Okay. Choose the best answer based on the definitions. Consumers use or cite and handle one product. Then another and are asked to indicate which of the two products or the two they prefer. Monadic method, use test or pair comparison test? Pair comparison test. Pair comparison test. Consum consumers use the product in real yeah. circumstances. Use they use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Uh, use the monadic method. method. The monadic method? Yeah. You sure? Well. Read the statements below. Choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. O recuerdan esto, que los, uh, los subjects pueden ser uh, complejos y tiene que ser el verb, correct verb. Some of the participants in the testing group not arrived yet. Have or has? Have. Have, because some have. of the participants is have. Not, right? Notorious. <coughs> what is the pronunciation? Notorial. Notar river. Eso no palabras, son dos palabras separadas, están ahí juntas, pero es not arrived. Ah, not arrived. Ah, okay. Yeah. One of the factors to decide of the best type of test, the characteristics of the product itself, is or are? Is. Is. A number of customers, customers, so are or is? Is. Are. 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 Yes, ¿Seguro? Yes. Oh, es easy, es yes. cierto. Yes. No, es que lo toma desde customers. Yes. Lo toma desde a number, Obviously. perdón. No, es Obviously. A number. Ok, so number one will be pair comparison test. Number two, monadic method. Number three, have. Number four, is. Number five, is. Go with the next one. <coughs> Number three, select the best option. Lindsay not been to France. Has, is, or have? Has. 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 Third person. You finish your homework? Have. Uh, have. They gone to a rock concert. Dave. 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 I let you know. After. After. After I come back. You stop crying, I'll yeah. buy you an ice cream. Yeah. 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 
Sí. De llorar, te compro. <coughs> so, number one will be has. Number two will be have. Number three will be um, v. Number four, after. And number five, if. Okay? Let's go with the last one. Okay. Choose the name of the steps in, <coughs> in the process of developing a new product. Once the idea has been completed, the product must be taken to a location where customers can get it. Idea generation or commercialization? Commercialization. Commercialization, excellent, good job. Next one, brainstorming, idea generation or launch? Idea generation. Idea generation. Generation. You have to ask for the customer's opinion, idea generation or concept development and testing. Concept development and testing. In this stage, research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. And there's marketing. There's marketing. It presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential cost launch or basically. Launch. Launch. Excellent. Let's see. Number one is commercialization. Number two is idea generation. Number three is concept development and testing. Four is test marketing. And five is launch. Okay. With that, we should be beginning with the uh, <clears throat> with the section number three. Okay. So with that, we should be done. Okay. Um, ahí ya tendrían que estar ustedes en la plataforma. Si yo reviso notas, usted ya tendría que estar en esa parte, right? You should be in that part already, okay? Excellent. Let's continue. Let's go here with the... Miss, help me. With what? Eh, en la tarea 3.3. No le entiendo. Oh, ya le hicimos. Espérame, ya le digo. No, esa no. Ya. Yeah. No, es la línea 3. 3.3. Oh, yeah, es this one, you see? 3.3. Ya. Yeah. Ya le hicimos. Sí, no, ya habíamos hablado de eso, que solo al inicio le van a agregar, can you tell me? Can you tell me if she plays tennis? So habíamos dicho... For example, let's see. Vamos a hacerlo nuevo. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Does she play tennis? Is a question in third person, right? It's a third person question. Yes. So, what do I need to do here? I can say, can you tell me? Podría decirme. Y luego voy a agregar la palabrita if. Pero como ya no voy a agregar el auxiliar, voy a poner el verbo. Vamos a hacerlo así. Can you tell me, eso vamos a agregarlo al inicio de todas las preguntas, luego vamos a poner el if, can you tell me if she, pero como ya no llevo el auxiliar y el verbo es de tercera persona, ¿cómo voy a escribir el verbo? Place. 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 Tercera persona. Place. Third person with S. Place. So, tell me if she plays tennis. And then I just add the question mark and that is ready. Let's do one thing que no hemos hecho. Is she hungry? Is she hungry? So, primero, voy a agregar de nuevo. Can you tell me? El mismo. Luego agrego if. Sí. Can you tell me if? ¿De quién estamos hablando? De she. Como ya no es una question, el is no va antes, sino que iría after, right? Can you tell me if she is hungry? Right? Can you tell me if she's hungry? Porque aquí, en este caso, cambiamos auxiliar y el verbo lo ponemos en tercera persona. Pero como en este caso no tenemos un auxiliar, sino que lo único que cambia es que el verbo to be pasa al inicio, pues cuando lo cambiamos aquí, lo vamos a poner después del pronoun. Ok, verifiquemos. Let's check if that is correct. Correct. You see? Voy a enviar aquí al chat. <coughs> oh. Number one.
Number two. Number three. Para que intenten. So you can try. Ahora ustedes, con la explicación que les he dado, now you, with the explanation that I just gave you, hagan la number four y me la mandan aquí al chat. Quiero ver. Do it here and I'll send it to the chat privately. Envíenlo Hola. privado. Te la tengo. Ok, pero mándenlo al chat, please. Solo donde dice inglés corporativo. No van a seguir en el chat. Pero privado, ahí donde dice everyone, no le dan everyone. Envíenlo solo inglés corporativo para que no nos tengamos que Salió mala. Only two have sent it. Solo dos han enviado. A four. Me la mandan aquí al chat, les dije. Only two have sent it. Ok, pero me la mandaron para todos. Así que no puedo <risa> decirles cuál está correcta, porque hay una que está mala. No, pero está mala esa. Por eso la mandé. <risa> Miren, mis, ahí la mandé la mía. Yes, José. Solo una letrita de mayúscula. Ah, ah. Ya, yeah, ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. No, va a probar aquí. Okay. Ah, ya están haciendo la otra, la de Canada. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> es que ya lo terminé todo, mis. Oh, ok, perfect, perfect. That's good. good. That's good. Can you tell, wait, wait. Tell me if you like, así el verbo en su forma base. Can you tell me if you like Luego, capital letter for um, English. English. And then, question mark. Let's check. Correct. You see? That is the way it is. Excellent. Okay. Okay, mientras los que faltan, porque yo hay missing people que no me los he mandado, voy a pasar el attendance, okay? Let's go with the last attendance because let's go to Mimir. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present. Gerson Alexi Funes Sosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. No se conectó. Ok. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. 
expresen eso. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. ¿Mm? Ajá, pero la voy a guardar no creo que se me arruine. Walter Vladimir, bueno, perdón, Presen mis, presen mis. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Presen mis. Omar Seth Galicia López. Presen mis. En Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Ok. Presen mis. Ok, thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow, ok? Okay, good night. Miss. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Night. Bye. Okay. okay. See you later. Good night. Bye. Good Have a good night. night. Let's go to me, Mir. Ah, le mandé la última. Okay, yeah, I saw it. Can you tell me if they work in Canada? Yeah, it's correct. Okay, thank you. Yes. Bye. Bye, Miss.
vamos a hacer barra en el avión. Atrás. Y pues, Mañana es miércoles, ¿verdad? Sí. Que todos el de clase y de bruta y que, que, que las cheras de cabita las levantan.